The importance of art in Canada is it, it joins the country together because people start to understand they're not the same. And maybe that's one of our big strengths, that we realize that other people are not the same. It is impossible for two people to be the same, and it's totally impossible for you to come from where you came from and me to come from where I came from and be the same. I just got the Julius Griffith Award a few years back for contributions of volunteerism to the Canadian Society of Painters in Watercolour. And that's pretty long service. I was also made a life member of the society for 20 years of um, volunteer work that went along with my membership. I just started in this past year trying to establish an art gallery for Scarborough. And last evening we had a special meeting about that with the uh, city councillor and his um, uh, instruction to us was, well, we're going to give you a space and we're going to give you a key and you have to do the rest of the work. That's a big, that's a full-time job of volunteerism. If you want to make something remarkable, you have to really think about it and it's generally an evolutionary process. So this painting over here is quite different than a traditional landscape. And it's that way because in my evolution, I've gradually come down to thinking about how the brain uh, perceives. How does it decide what a thing is? How does it decide that this is a coffee cup, for instance? Does it flip through a whole pile of images of coffee cups to decide that this is a coffee cup? I'm not really sure. So what I do in my work with this type of painting is that I, I take an image and make sure that it's hard to decipher so that your brain will have to work on it to decide what is that exactly. That makes you wonder like how passionate a person can be about something and uh, I can definitely say Peter is, is very passionate about art. He almost dedicated his whole life to just being an artist and even teaching art. And I had a guy say to me once when I sat on a council, a municipal council, and he said to me, Peter, art isn't important. Roads are important. Now it's a ridiculous statement, but that, that kind of feeling is prevalent in, in various areas of Canadian culture. You need everybody supporting the arts and you have to see it as an important part of one's culture.